Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the clans and the types of Rykul that we've got going on. So beware there's a lot of overlapping, so I'll I'll try not to say the same things when it comes to clan and type of Rykul because there are Rykul that are types of Rykul and there's also similarities drawn between the tribe or a clan that they're part of. Now I'm not going to waste any much any more of your time and I'm just going to get right into it. So first we're going to be covering the types of Rykul and starting off um, we're going to be talking about the Iron Rykul. These are the original forms of the Rykul before they were afflicted with the curse of flesh. They were created by the Titan Keepers for, from the Forge of Wills, which is a large forge washed over by Shunar the Iron Shaper within the Halls of Stone. This forge, along with the Forge of Origination, was built by the Titanic Watchers Mimiron and Archytas after the Old Gods were defeated. Their purpose was to help infuse Azeroth's slumbering world soul with cosmic energies. <clears throat> a large majority of Rykul were most likely affected by the Curse of Flesh, so the majority of Iron Rykul are probably those created by the treacherous Lokin for his Iron Army, and the few there will probably only be few Iron Vrykul left that um, existed before this. Next up we have the Frost Vrykul, and these are pretty much the same as regular Vrykul, only the fact that their skin is blue and layered with frost. Frost Vrykul may be a race, but we don't know that for certain. Valkyrian Vrykul are all Frost Vrykul and aspire to receive the gift of the Lich King to become Valkyr. While the Hildnir are a female Rykul population located in the Stormspeak, Storm Peaks, much like the Valkyrian, but retain their loyalty to Thorim instead of the Lich King. Valkyr are incorporeal undead raised from Rykul females. There's two similar versions, so one of the versions is the ones created by Odin, and the other one is created by the Lich King, which look vastly similar, the only difference really being their color scheme, I'd say. The Valkyra from Stormheim aspire to be the ones created by Odin, the actual Valkyr, while the inhabitants of Valkyrian aspire to be transformed into nightmarish creatures created by the Lich King. Next up, we have Vargul. Um, Vargul are a undead creature that are remains of Vrykul. They are similar to the Imrajar in certain ways because they both these are both participants that took part in the challenge to ascend to Imran's perfect soldier by competing in a fight in the pit of Ahalas. The only difference is that the Vargul are the Vrykul that lost the challenge while they retain some level of intelligence and consequently resent their fate. They are forced to be working and are used only for labor. Then next up we have the Imrajar. The Imrajar, much like the Vargul, are participants of the Battle of Ascendance or the Duel of Ascendance to the elite warrior caste created by King Imran. Um, and the, are, they are the winners of the duel held at Valhallas in Jotunheim and thus are some of the most powerful Vrykul in existence. These Vrykul mostly live in Imrheim a location of most significance to the Vrykul. Kavaldir, also known as Sea Vrykul, are spirits of fearsome Vrykul warriors or seafaring raiders who roam the seas, raiding ships and coastal settlements working for Helia. The Kavaldir raid coasts and pull souls to Helheim, robbing Odin of potential champions. They can manifest mists and appear similar to Vrykul but are covered in green scales, barnacles, and seaweed, and they typically reside in the deep ocean where their corporeal forms would be crushed if not for their mistweaving magics. The Drust are the Drust were a population of Vrykul who inhabited Kol Tiris before the humans arrived. They wield powerful death magic and mainly live in Drustvar but also resided in several areas of Tyragard. They were originally Vrykul, but only but the only source of uncorrupt Drust are the Thorn Speakers. The Drust transformed into something else. 
humanoids with bark-like skin and bark-like tree growths coming from their arms and their bodies. Stormforge or Valar Jar of Rykul are of Rykul that ascended and served Keeper Odin in the Halls of Valar. Chosen by Odin, only the strongest Rykul have their spirits lifted into the Halls of Valar by the Valkyr, where they fight eternal, shiny, and gold. They can be given might, mighty golden stormforged bodies or become Valkyr themselves with power over life and death. And last but not least, we have the Fleshy Vrykul. Now these Vrykul are the most prominent within the World of Warcraft franchise and the ones we see the most. They reside both in Stormheim and in Northrend mainly, but are also spotted across the Dragon Isles and various other locations across Azeroth. These Vrykul are the Vrykul who were formerly Iron Vrykul, but were afflicted by the Curse of Flesh created by yogg saron and were forever stained by it and remained flesh. Next up, we're going to discuss some of the small parts of the culture in the next video, which probably will be a shorter video. I may, I, I'll probably split this video into two, which makes it easier for me to uh, put out a new video. But, um... Next up, we're probably going to talk about the culture of the Vrykul and some extra things that we need to know. And then, my friends, we're going to be moving on to probably um, the orcs, I think. I think the orcs are my favorite race in World of Warcraft. And they will be the next subject. With that having said, I hope you guys found this video maybe helpful, entertaining, uh, interesting, something. If you did, I would very much appreciate it if you liked. Um, if you're interested in World of Warcraft lore, then I suggest subscribing. And I'll hopefully be seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.